it's, I think that it's really hard to go after Alberto, but I think that this is about inspiration and what we make with it. So I want to start with a question. I have to be in the green, green square. Uh, and when was the last time that you go to bed so happy that you couldn't contain yourself? So let me tell you my story. I'm from Chile. I'm an engineer, and I've always been a volunteer in different areas. So I started working in projects, and after a few years, I realized that I wanted to my work have some impact. So like I think everyone else, we start thinking about what we can do. And I start looking at a ton of talk text, TED Talks, I mean, and go to conferences, talk to people. And someday I watch a video that was a little girl receiving a prosthetic hand. And she was so, so happy that I asked myself, why no one is doing this in my country? So I called my brother and I start, we started research. And we found that 10,000 persons in my country need a prosthetic hand. And the 90% of them doesn't have one. So we call our, my best friend of college and we say, hey, why we don't do prosthetic hands? So maybe it will be easy. And we bought a, a 3D printer and we were so, so confused. <laughs> we never saw a 3D printer before. We didn't know how to assemble it because it was the cheapest one. And we didn't know how to make hands. So <laughs> a tip for all of you is that there's always uh, some person in YouTube that knows everything <laughs> and can teach you how to do the things. So, well, after a lot of, a lot of mistakes, we, we learn. And the, the first day that we gave a prosthetic hand to a little girl, we realized that we want to dedicate us to improve the quality of life and social inclusion of people with disability. Because we love when the kids call us and say like they have new friends. Actually, a few weeks ago, a little girl from eight years old called us and said to us that a classmate of her tells her that he want to cut his hand to have a hand like hers. So we print unicorns and superheroes in these prosthetic hands because we want to empower them to go out and be themselves. And after a few months, we realized that we needed a multidisciplinary health team in our team. And actually now we do all the, a whole rehabilitation process and the follow-up because the kids grow and we need to change the hand. And also uh, later, we have the opportunity to work with young convicts of the prison system because they say that, that they want to help someone, you know, do something. And now they are printing part of the prosthetic hands that we give. We um, create a relation between the beneficiaries and these young convicts. And actually they are improving their behavior they have the opportunity to change their own perspective of themselves, and now they are making plans for their lives. But come on, we don't want to be there, you know, you want to go farther. And now we're working on a robotic hand that have a lot of muscle sensors and things like that, cool stuff, because why we cannot do a prosthetic hand that have, for example, the computer mouse in it? So to improve the work inclusion. And I want to invite all of you to print dreams together. Thank you. <laughs>